Well, we're here at the workbench, and Dave, it is smelly over it's here. It's not that smelly because these are pretty good baits. They that's beautiful ballyhoo. That's, that's one of the things I'm going to start by talking about is if you're going to be pulling dead baits, you want to start with good ones. Either catch them yourself or buy some that are nice looking. These are from uh, Bait Masters of South Florida. They'll ship them everywhere, all over the place. Uh, these are actually rigged ones I was going to show you at the end. But notice, you know, they're really clear-eyed. You know, all their scales are st are still on the fi on the fish. They got that little red tail. These are kind of dried out because I've had them out in the in the lights here. But there's no red on them. No, there's it, no freezer burn brown no, or anything. They're beautiful and, and and firm. So you know, and you let those thaw out in some salt water, and you start cleaning them up. First thing you want to do uh, when you're going to be pulling these things is you want to make sure you get the eyeballs out. Uh -huh. uh, you take the eyeballs out because it gives you a good place to anchor when you're. Uh, you know, wrapping your wire around it when you're rigging it. And it also, what it does is, if, you know, that's one of the first places that fails on a ballyhoo if you're pulling it for a while. An, eye, an eyeball will start to bulge and then the thing will start to turn and, you know, you have to pull it in and, and, and mess with it. So we take the eyeballs out to get away from, from, from that right from the beginning. And like I said, it also makes a good place to anchor. And then you clip off the bill. You know, you, you want to just leave a little square uh, bill about that long, you know, uh -huh. quarter inch long. Right. Uh, no longer than that, uh, unless you're going to do some kind of split bill rig or something. Uh, because the more the bill is out there, the more it gets in the way and, and, and it makes you not, not troll properly uh, because you're when you're when you're rigging all these I got several different ways when you're rigging these you're what what you're really wanting and we'll start with this one which is a plain pin rig on wire and with a J hook in it and what you're really wanting to do with all these rigs is you're wanting to when you pull on the leader the hook should not move right because if it because if the hook moves and pulls this way then that's where it will pull from and the bally who will be pulling from the middle and will start to spin. That's what causes a spin, is when you're pulling this bait, it's not pulling from the nose. And that's how you check it. Once you get it all rigged, you give it a few tugs on the, on the nose, and if the hook's not moving, you got, you're, you're probably gonna be all right. Then you put it out for a little while, you know, let it swim and take a look at it before you put it all the way out. But that's what you wanna, that's what you wanna do. And this is what that pin rig looks like without a bait on it. Okay. It's just a, it's just a so it's just e hook. Eagle Claw O'Shaughnessy hook. O'Shaughnessy hook. Is there a certain size you like? 5 0, 8 uh, 7 knot to 9 knot is as big as I go. Okay. Um, that'll catch just about everything. I try to go with a smaller hook because with a smaller hook, I can use less drag. And if I to sink it into the fish, and if I use less drag and he misses it, I get another shot at him generally. But what it is is number set. This is like number seven wire with a little piece of copper on it. Usually, you, you know, a 20 inch piece or even less you can get you can get away with 18 inch piece of, of copper wire and how fast can we troll these with getting away with them dave um if you don't have anything on the front of them you can pull and, and they're really good baits you can troll them for seven seven knots you know as long as they're staying in the water and they're not tumbling which is what you always want to do when you when you're pulling any bait you want to make sure that it stays in the water and doesn't come out and tumble it stays in the water that the, so the fish can catch it easy so you hear the guys talk about naked versus not or with a an islander so tell right. me that show me the difference show everybody the well, difference well you know th these uh Okay, there's some island lures right here. So this would be, you just put this out, this would be considered naked. Yes, yeah, and, and, if, and if you're, and, if, and that's exactly how I would pull it, uh, just by itself. And then if you wanna make, you know, enhance it a little bit, you go ahead and throw you a nice big skirt on here, uh, like a blue and white or uh, any of, any, know, of the colors. any of the colors. White. I like blues and whites, and it'll just slide all the way down. So and then when this goes on his face. Correct. And that's because I have that, you know, the bill's chopped off a little bit. And when that's going, you can go eight knots with that, up to ten knots for a while before the ballyhoo starts to come apart. You also want to make sure that when you're rigging ballyhoos, you, you don't punch a lot of holes in them. You know, every place that you nick his skin or take off his, his, his uh, scales is a place that can fail. And it can balloon up. You want to try to squeeze him out real good and get all the poo out of him. So, so you don't have to worry about a big belly full of poo in there either, weighting him down and it gets bad. Now, for, for the circle hooks, when you're, you know, when you're wanting a, a swimming bait, you wanna, you wanna, again, put it up in the front. There's three different ways to do it. You can use this, this is a cool way. They have the little swivel and the O-ring built together. Uh, you can also just use a plain swivel if you have to. So you can use your diamond swivel, high grade bearing Correct. swivel. Correct, just use a nice high ball bearing swivel so that spins and gets all the way around. And that's what happens is when, when this fish eats it and we can get him to, to go all the way around and that thing will find its corner of the jaw and you'll be in there. 
Good job. Good yeah. job. We've got about a billion more things to talk about. I know. You didn't go fast enough. No. It's mm -hmm. good stuff, though.